everyone, it's Victoria with Henna Body Art by Victoria and today we are going to bleach pen a garment using soft scrub. I've got my soft scrub with bleach, I've got my henna cone, and this is an empty cello cone made with a 10 by 10 square cut on a diagonal. It is seven and about seven inches from tip to tail and an inch wide at the longest point. I like to work with this size when I'm working with my soft scrub. And then I also have my scotch tape, the transparent tape, the tape in the red box. Let's start with filling our cone. My soft scrub is fresh so that it's nice and liquidy and not chunky, and I'll give it a shake. And it just pours right on out. I'm only going to fill it, it's a little bit messy, but I only filled it to right here. You don't want to fill it all the way up, you only want to fill it just over halfway. Now because it is so liquidy, I'm going to use extra tape to make sure that I don't have any leaks. So I'm going to tape across the back seam, which I don't really need to do when I fill my cones with henna. I'm going to tape across the top as well. You could use a piece of packing tape for this and it would go a little faster. I've made my triangle and now I'm going to just roll it down and secure it. We're almost ready to get going. All right, so I've got my garment. This is a 100% cotton t-shirt. I have um, some just regular brown paper garbage ba or grocery bags that I've put a couple layers in between the, the um, garment layers so that I've got garment, grocery bag, garment, and then I've got my self-healing cutting pad so that I don't wreck my table. And the next thing that I'm going to do is just measure a little bit. I've got my stainless steel marker and my sidewalk chalk. And I'm just going to measure out because I want this to be the same width all the way across this design, which is going to be about two inches. So if I just take this and measure this out. This extra step will save headaches in the long run. It's nice to have everything even and, and looking good. And we're just making guidelines. We're not gonna follow the line exactly, but having balance is nice. So I've done my dashes. I'm going to just kind of connect them. And there we go. And I think that I'm going to just take in the middle here. And I want my design to sort of end about there. So I've got my registration marks. I know that I'm going to have my design go out to about there. 
maybe sort of V it, but I kind of want to keep a U and maybe some trailing things and call it good.